Down to just five squads now as we went into that overhead. We lost two teams, but casuals, they are in a decent spot, but it's Unlucky who hold this egg building that we were speaking of. Unlucky at the bottom floor. They do still have Team Liquid in the vicinity, I believe. Yes, they do. They're just above them. Gilderson and Nocturnal having to do some God's work here for them, just holding that angle on the stairs. Any kind of push that comes in, they're going to have to do some damage. There's the move from C9. They try and take height on this egg at the last possible moment, and they're just going to be working around the edges of it, just trying to survive. If that fight breaks out inside of the egg, C9 will ape. They will take advantage of it as they're now just absolutely damaging Fury as they try to survive. Yeah, Bubble's gone down for Furia to desperately try and stay alive at this point. They're very weak, but they should be able to get a bat off. But how many eyes are going to be on them? They try and make a last desperate attempt to also get inside the egg. Everyone using the building that they can. Cloud9 down to just two. Albert Lilly has fallen. Liquid, though, also down to a two. So there's a lot of weakened squads here. They are. Nocturnals taking damage. There's the armor swap, though. Line that one up. Can't connect with the shots inside of the egg. As you saw the knock actually came in from Furia onto Cloud9. It was Albrelele who was the player to go down. They're just trying to hold all the teams out and then maybe swoop down in those final moments to clean up the damage that's being done inside. But for Unlucky, it's down to Kotogami and Osenpai. Kotogami falls down and now Furia make their move in towards the egg. Unlucky eliminated Liquid, eliminated Cloud9 down oh to my. a two, but also shredding with damage. Oh my! Oh, you like your eggs in the morning. I like them with Cloud9. Cloud9 survives. Big damage coming in. Only one player all alive now, and that's going to be naughty. As casuals now make their way in, and it's looking like it will be a casual romp to victory here for casuals. They will be your champions of game number one. But what a game number one it was. Literally vibing have a nice little pocket for themselves, but Esports Arena don't want to let them hold on to it. They know exactly where they're at, they are. There's only three squads left, and Esports Arena is going to be making that push if they can to get rid of that, because you can see the lone Casello Spicky is still alive from the early game, and that is the third squad here. I'm actually so impressed. He's just letting all the actions happen. This is none of my business here. He may want to get in on some of this KP before ESA, though, swoop it up from underneath his feet, dude. They finally clean up, literally vibing, and Casellos is just playing off by the other side. It's just a matter of time before ESA, they take game number two. And uh, we talked about it before. Had a rough start in that game one. Fell rel relatively early in the middle of the rotation, but they come right back around and they manage to clean game number two. Final team to go down in all that carnage was Team Liquid. We're now down to eight as we see G-Force playing on the edge of this building. Mooney's got the R301 in his hand. Complexity inside of one of these small structures. They're going to have to move, though, and Sentinels were co-inhabiting. So where have Sentinels gone? How are Complexity going to move forward now? Big shot coming in, a headshot, and Sentinels are now going to wrap on Complexity. They are behind them, but the bubble goes down to keep uh, them alive. And now, oh no, Lou, he's going to go down to zone. Unfortunately, just got caught between a rock and a hard place, or the red and the stairwell. Sentinels down to two, but at least they can work their way up to this little area elsewhere. All Glory Gaming also in a scuffle, but they're going to lose all of their players. They go down in eight, seven squads left. G-Force, Moody gets the armor swap, 100 Thieves who have no right to be in this position, to be completely honest with you, the fact they were down to one player, now they have the opportunity to push in and take advantage of the height and the opportunity that presented itself to them, Vaxlon just ripping away at shields with this rampage in his hands, he finds one, he finds two, that will be Sentinels out alongside Dexterity. Shooting fish in a barrel, complexity also fell, and those teams who were in this big building were always going to have the advantage because the small middle had to move first. OA still alive, three squads remaining, they know there's teams above them, but there's also a team or a player just behind that pill, and that's why we're seeing so much focus right now. The team that's above optimal ambition here is 100 Thieves. What a win this would be for 100 Thieves. Blake, who has the opportunity to throw the defensive bombardment down, 100 Thieves just waiting. As the rat is taken out, that was Torrent's last player alive. Yuri's trying to do what he could. The defensive bomber goes down as 100 Thieves now make their move. The bubble is down. Onmu is also down. Vaxlon trying to do what he can with the Peacekeeper in hand. The new pick up for this team. He picks up one. But can he clutch what would be a 3v1 for 100 Thieves? The answer is no. As Optimal Ambition come through with a win in your game number three. Five squads are now left after all of this chaos. ZBG is down to one, Wicked being the last remaining player. The bubble does come out to see if they can maybe get that res. Hopefully able to get one off, but as soon as it happens, the push starts to come in, and they're going to have to fend off those enemy players. Esports Arena, though, this entire time, Vicky, looking fantastic for themselves. 
Yeah, this is the spot that ESA is so comfortable playing, and they still have Skittles up on that Caustic. That Nox Grenade is going to be so deadly for this final circle, but look at the open space that is between ESA and Casuals. Casuals being the winners of game number one. Game number two is taken by ESA, and now Casuals are forced to play off of this open ground, but they want to play it smart because you know that ESA is trying to tear them from the left side, trying to pull this team thin. Yeah, I mean, the cover that Casuals have is actually pretty massive for them to be able to use because ESA, I think, has to come out from behind those walls before Casuals need to leave this one tower out in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to have to see how good they are able to do. But they've got the Gibraltar ultimate coming in. That bombardment doing a massive amount of work as far as oh. obstructing the vision. <laughs> but the black hole pulls Esports Arena away at least for a little bit of time. And Skittlecakes is trying to recover and push up on the remaining members oh. of Casuals. The PK shot, oh. Vicky, coming out insane. Esports Arena is your champs for game number four. 100 Thieves, Torrent, and the team that is currently within the sky at the moment. It's 100 Thieves who look the most comfortable on the map. Whilst the team down low, they have been able to get into a position behind these canisters and also working around all the objects they can play. It's Unlucky who are here again in the end game. Unlucky looking to put up more points. 100 Thieves though. Not only are they in the best position to win this game, they have both teams in front of them, but they also all have full red armors. The fight is going to break out. And it's almost like a throwback here for 100 Thieves. Torrent fall, 100 Thieves, the winners of the ALGS Championship from this position, now just have one team in front of them. Yeah, it's a three versus three, but they have high ground, they've got grenades, they've got all the goodies to work with. You've just got to execute at this point. Arcstars are going to go in. Onu takes a little bit of damage, so does Vaxxon, so there's going to be a little momentary reset between these two teams. There is a break coming in from Scurry, but he almost gets broken himself. The bobble goes down, and that usually means Boys is trying to fight here. We think we've done enough damage. 54 with the Peacekeeper. Another shot comes in, but it might not be the result here that 100 Thieves are looking for. On me with the wingman in a 1v1 now to win the game for 100 Thieves. It's going to be Ash versus Valkyrie. The tether goes down, and with those final shots, finally, 100 Thieves will become the champions of game number five. And it is history repeating itself once more with that circle belonging to 100 T. That is huge for Liquid, and they are pushing up towards a damaged team complexity now as we see 100 Thieves trying to get some pot shots down onto Team Liquid, hopefully de dealing some damage as they make their rotation towards complexity. But 100 Thieves, honestly, does not have a lot of focus on them right now. So they could be in a position to clean up some of these fights as casuals have held on this entire time, now finding themselves in yet another high ground position and able to look down on so many of these teams who are in very rough spots. Oh man, complexity casuals. Team Liquid, 100 Thieves. Team Liquid now, though, down two. It's up to Gildersons playing around the knockout shield and the dome together, but it's not going to be enough. It's an on move sandwich as 100 Thieves match to get them. A beautiful art star right there. A beautiful oh. stick. You love to see it, but casuals do not want to give up the spot. Again, this is such a good spot for casuals to be one of our Challenger Circuit teams who have been making waves today. I cannot believe that they were pretty much able to kind of eat their popcorn and watch everybody else down below have to battle it out. And yet again, it is the teams on low across from each other that are deciding to take that fight. 100 Thieves versus Complexity. And in the meantime, Casuals is trying to rotate over to the side to see if they can deal some additional damage. But it ends up not going their way. 100 Thieves is not going to allow themselves to be pushed up on that easily. And now it's looking like Complexity might be in the best oh. position. Oh, Monsoon, he got taxied over to the other side out here. Now being able to get that knock, beautiful. That's what I was worried about, Complexity taking casual spot. But now, Complexity is only down to Monsoon. They need to find the opportunity right now, but Monsoon's forced to go into the line of sight of that player that's on the high ground. Oh, Monsoon and the PK shot followed up by the ball, keeping Complexity's oh, hopes and dreams alive right now and oh. getting them the win with the final PK shot. Complexity takes the game six of our entire day today. 